Hi, and welcome again to the Refi Certification Program. This is Bruce Kirsch. In this video, I am going to talk a little bit more about prerequisite one, the basics of discounted cash flow and net present value analyses. When we think about discounted cash flows and net present value, I find it helpful to think about time just generally and our level of certainty with respect to outcomes over time. And so if we were to draw a timeline here, and this were to be time zero, which is the present, and this is the past, and this is the future, we have knowledge of what has happened in the past, so that's a fact. What's happening right now is unfolding, but is pretty certain as far as the immediate future, how we think things will pan out. And the further we go out into the future, the less and less certain we are with respect to how outcomes might present themselves. Central to this idea is the notion of the time value of money, or TVM. And what the time value of money posits is that if we could jump forwards and backwards in time, hypothetically, where this point in time is time zero, or the present, and this is a point in the future, if we could theoretically transport ourselves instantaneously from the present to the future or from the future back to the present. And let's say that this is a duration of one year, for example. Then, in theory, we would be indifferent between having some nominal dollar value today and a larger value than the time zero nominal value Assuming that we could get growth on this present value amount over this span of one year. And so, assuming you don't need this $100 in the interim 365 days, once again, we would theoretically be indifferent between having the $100 in hand today or having $105 in hand, assuming that this 5% rate can in fact be achieved. So this 5% rate would be the growth rate when we look forward. And if we look in reverse, it would be referred to as the discount rate. 